Today we're going to do another project with crayons. Um, if you see, I'm going to use my box of crayons again, and we're also going to use some wax paper. And I have put a big towel across my table because I need a soft workspace. For this exercise, I have pulled out some of the crayons out of my box full of crayons. You know, the ones that are broken a little bit, the ones that have uh, popped off or that are too small to color with. And I'm gonna use these for this project because what we're going to do is we're going to, remember these are made from wax, and so we're gonna utilize the wax that is in these crayons. The first color that I'm now gonna use is going to be a yellow because I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a yellow so that I can actually make a sun. So I'm taking my crayons here that are now, I don't have to hold them, I'm just gonna be able to sprinkle them and I'm gonna sprinkle them between two pieces of wax paper. And I'm just gonna spread out my yellow. Then I'm going to cover it with another piece of wax paper. And then I'm gonna take another little piece of a light cheesecloth or something that I can lay over the top of this. Because what we're gonna do now, and you may need some help from parents, is we're gonna take a warm iron and we're going to iron over our wax. And as we do this, it's going to melt the wax. And so we're gonna have a crayon in a totally different form. Now we have another work of art here that we can use. And I'm gonna use it in just a moment to make something special with yellow. Now I'm going to paint with a different color and I'm gonna use this red where I put the red and a burgundy and there's a little bit of green, maybe blue left in it from where I graded the other um, wax together. Now look at all the beautiful colors that have mixed together and you may be able to kind of tell what I'm getting ready to make with this. This time I'm going to take the blue and just put a little pile of blue in the very center of my wax paper. Now I'm going to take my yellow and I have drawn kind of a picture of a little sun and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it on the wax paper and I'm going to trace around it so that I'll be able to cut out a sun from this yellow. Now I'm going to do the same thing with my red and as you can guess this is probably a cross. Once you have traced over your designs of whatever you would like it to be, you want to take a pair of scissors and then cut out your design. this wax instead of coloring with it with a crayon we've actually taken the wax and changed it into a new form a melted form instead of a form of a crayon now what I have I have three pieces of finished product where I've already cut them out and what I have is a cross a cloud and the sunshine now you can use your creativity to create any kind of shapes that you would like but especially right now in this Easter time we could also use this uh, cross and the Sun and the uh, clouds to put them up in our window and use them as sun catchers. Or you could use your creativity and do something fun with them um, on your table too. 
Um, but just let your imagination go and have a great time with melting crayons. your imagination go and try to use all the colors and see what kind of colors blend together. Now we have melted all of our crayons with all the beautiful colors together. What can your imagination do with these beautiful colors?